Order. You're here at the Swiss GP, but unfortunately you're only going to be spectator this weekend. Can you just remind everyone of the injury that, that you're dealing with? Yeah, this weekend I'm sadly only a spectator. I wish I could ride here at my, at my Tom GP, but sadly not. Um, in April I had an injury. I turned my ACL or I cut. <laughs> and then I needed to do a surgery, so yeah. As everyone knows, the ACL needs Time. six to nine months. So this year was over for me, and I knew it from, from the beginning. So yeah, it's really sad, but yeah, we keep going. And how is it being away from the GPs, being away from the racing? I'm sure at the start it, it was very tough to deal with, but now, as you sort of get towards the end of the injury, is it getting a little bit easier? Yeah, at the beginning it was really, really hard to accept it. Because yeah, it was two days before my first race. Um, I had a little tip over in the corner, and then yeah, I fall. So yeah, that makes it not easy, but it's getting more better and better because the season is getting over and I'm getting fit again, and my knee is going well. So yeah, for next year I will be uh, in really good shape. So yeah, I'm. Stay positive. <laughs> and do you still watch the GPs at home on the TV or, or is it too tough? <laughs> uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends on my mood. Yeah. So yeah, one time I went to go watching the GP in Locket. Locket. Because yeah, it was not too far from me. And yeah, with some friends I went there. So it was pretty fun. But yeah, I still said to watch the racing. So yeah, I would better race. Um, watch, yeah. When do you hope to be back on a bike? If everything goes to plan, of course. Yeah, uh, at the moment it's around four months, okay. so it's still going three to four months to go. Okay. So I expect to go riding again in December. Sure. So still long waiting, but yeah, December it's early enough to be ready for 2025. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you get back on the bike in December, you know, it'll give you three or four months to prepare, so from that point of view, you should be ready to go for the start of next season? Yeah, I think so, and it's also early, early enough to do some pre-season races, I think so, so yeah, I hope to do some of them, uh, to get back in the race rhythm, because one year without racing will be tough, but yeah, I think we can do it. And of course, when you reflect back before the injury that you got, you, you mostly were with WZKTM, a little bit in MX too, and a little bit of any MX. Just what what was it like being part of that team and being in the GP paddock, racing every week? Probably something you took a little bit for granted as, as this injury show. Yeah, it was. I think I was three years in WZ, so it was some good years. Um, we had a lot of up and downs, but at the end it was still a good time. Um, last year I did a full MX2 season. I mean, full yeah, the European races and the races I was not injured. Last year was a tough one, but yeah, I did a lot of experience, so yeah, I will be ready for next year. And what are you hoping to, to do next year? Have you got any preference? Obviously, first and foremost, you probably want to get back in the GP paddock. I'm not sure, there's obviously an under 21 age rule in the MX250, I'm not sure if, what age you are, so maybe the only option is MX2, but if you're the right age, would you do MX as well? Yeah, I mean, I was last year in the MX2, so I want to continue in the MX2, and also my age, I will get this year 22. Okay, you have so to do MX2 then. Yeah. Next year will be yeah, my yeah. last year in the MX2, yeah, okay. so I want to get the chance and go again. Now I'm searching a new team to go MX2. So yeah, I'm a free rider now, so hit me up if you need a new rider. Um, I'm really motivated for the next season. So yeah, just hit me up and we keep in touch. And have you had any talks with any teams yet? Or still completely free, not, not no plans? Fingers crossed you can um, get into the paddock. At the moment I have no plan yet. <laughs> I mean, um, I just finished my school this year, this summer. Um, I'm now a businessman. I finished yeah. uh, like, like good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and yeah, I was focused on that. 
and now I'm working to get some money for the next season because yeah, riding is not a question now because yeah, I can so I'm working now half a day and half a day I go training uh, physically so yeah yeah that's my plan at the moment and now I'm searching new teams and obviously when you were with WZ you, 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 you lived in Germany would you be open to live pretty much anywhere in Europe if it's an Italian team if it's a Belgian team are you open to move anywhere that's required yeah, like I said, I finished my school this year and this took four years, so... Um, and I was still living in Germany at the team. Okay. So, I would say now I'm I'm more free, so I would like to stay somewhere in the team. Um, like, say, in Belgium or something to go a lot of stand riding. So yeah, I'm open to go anywhere where it goes, yeah. Perfect, thank you very much for your time and hopefully we'll see you back in the paddock next year and get well soon. I hope also. So yeah, I would be happy to hear from some teams and yeah, see you. Perfect, thank you.